Hello guys. Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial video. I'm going to open a new video today. I want to show you how to install Power MTA Auto School. Yeah, as all know, Power MTA is an enterprise grade email message transfer agent within the MTA. So it's known for sending high volume of mails to so business critical mails. So it's been known for sending high messages. Um, then um, you can read more about it from the factors or phone. The principal thing can be run on your own server. And uh, in this video, I will just show you how to run Power MTA server. So if you want to get Power MTA server, you can see they sell their license together with their high for $5,500 per month. Also, it is by year. But then if you need the Power MTA license, the full tutorial, then this buy, they can check on the description below this video and reach me on our social or any of our social media platform. So the day to give it to you as an affordable rate. So we're not going here today. So today we want to show you how you can set up the own power MTA server. And uh, the first thing you need to do is to go on this um, start post resources. And from here you put in the domain you want to use. Uh, and I'm using this. And I'm going to have my credentials, my, uh, you can see, this my DK, my other information over here. Then you must have your VPS ready. VPS, OVH, I'll be using this VPS in this video. So what part is I need to log in? So my server right here, so log in, host, and the username, and the password. Run the command to go password. Okay, so enter, get your new password, enter, set your new password. Password has been saved successfully, and we need to uh, allow access. And so that we'll run this command and we'll run this command and enter and we'll go server and then password, initial password, root. Then uh, you wait for it so I can repeat. So, so now we'll be logging to root and uh, in terminal control. So the next thing here is that we're going to set our host name and uh, to do that to we'll run this command. I'll be using this and uh, just need to add the domain you want to use. Using this domain to run this name. Okay, host name. And on the back of this, Uh, 
CX2 record. Okay. Let's show more. Let me digital this record for now. So I write a new record. Say CX2 go to the D, then uh, this value will be on this place. And here, copy this. This time to run our command line. So the first command line will be running here, running this command and enter. Okay. So you wait for the whole process to get finished loading. We run the second one. We call this and run the second one. And it is just a demo video, so not all the commands and the information will be shown here. Okay, so it's coming up. Enter again. Okay. Now we're installing. All right, done. Installation done. Okay, it's only Power MT version 5.5.7. Then after this, run this command. Etcd and uh, etcd and cmp is between the cmp file. Enter. Okay. Then we install our bin. Then let's go now. Start to the second step. Okay, I'm the second step of start to so, okay. Then we we'll copy this. Okay. Then let's go back on our control and save the name. Then uh code. Enter. Good. Insert this. Okay. Go on the command here to copy this. Uh, I'm going to copy this uh, and here copy this and go back to the switch line. Okay, and press escape, then you press. And um, then we run this and enter. Okay, good. And it's time to insert the pin. Now it's time to edit our config here. So this place we're going to edit our config and I will see the info here. So I will do that now and paste it in the column there. Okay, I've done editing my config and uh, just put it, paste it here. And uh, sorry. So now, after the configuration, let's start our PMC. So, 
do authentication, login, name, password, email from